Right oh, so this video is uh, a video called small hive beetle damage. So uh, I've got my strategy for small hive beetle and uh, I let my guard down so I've got damage on this hive and um, it's entirely my fault. Uh, I did notice this hive was a bit weak and um, I didn't do anything about it. So we had a fair bit of rain and um, and I didn't bother going down to the bees, I thought they'd be a bit cranky, so uh, I uh, managed to salvage most of the honey out of this hive, there was a fair bit of honey which uh, the beetles hadn't got into, so I salvaged that and and you can see uh, it doesn't take long for the beetle larvae to um, get established. And what they do is they somehow they do something to the honey and it makes it sort of run everywhere and uh, turns it all loose and rancid and um, now you can see this one here there's a heap of beetle they they had they hadn't got onto the floor and they weren't crawling out of the hive yet so they've only just got started but you can see uh, what's can you zoom in on that yeah one? and uh, so I've got a two-fold strategy here uh, the first thing I did I bought these straight home and I've got the honey out and uh, this morning I'm getting stuck into it I'm going to clean out all the uh, all the comb and I'm not going to leave it to chance I'm just going to uh, clean all the frames up beautiful and clean then I'm going to scorch everything and now the reason why I'm doing it out in the lawn in the shade is because any beetle that escapes into the ground I've got a heap of ants that need to be uh, treated I've got a heap of ants nest on the on the lawn here. The ants need spraying, so that'll do do the ants as well as any beetle larvae that gets into the soil. So um, uh, you can see uh, on that frame, pretty bad. Uh, this frame here, they're pretty bad. You can see that the honey's very watery. You can sort of see it's very runny. You can see it running down there. So whatever the beetle do to it, they make it real runny and it goes rancid real quick. So the strategy with the small hive beetle is to uh, uh, nip it in the bud as quick as you can and don't leave anything laying around for them to multiply in. So I'm just going to uh, cut it all out. And uh, uh, melt it all down get the wax out of it so there's nothing wasted there and uh, clean up all the frames so you can see what I'm on about uh, getting onto it straight away uh, don't let the beetle uh, get into the lawn and uh, complete their life cycle under the ground uh, don't yeah you know, if you find your hive's got beetle problems don't just take the hive home and leave it sitting around to let the beetle uh, complete their life cycle and breed up further to uh, compound the problem. I was just lucky I found it when I did before they had a chance to crawl out the hive. Actually I'm doing this pretty quick because we're in the flight path of our other beehive we've got here. So it won't take long and the bees will find this. So. Uh, We should do a video of this hive in our backyard. This tiny swarm that turned up. It's a massive hive now. It's got three, we've got three boxes on it now. And I just recently took about 10 frames of brood out of it in two goes. Well, I just got a whiff of that small hive beetle. It's awful. Yeah. Yeah, well, a bloke I've been mentoring yesterday rang up and he said he had these uh, things coming out of the entrance of his hive and I, I thought he was talking about a little mum, uh, mummified chalk brood but it turned out it was small hive beetle larvae and then another bloke got me to go to his property the other day he's got a lychee farm uh, and a passion fruit farm and uh, he wants he's got his bees there for pollination and he started off with 15 hives and now he's down to four and he got me to go and have a look at him and it turned out uh, 
that they were, the ones that died out, they were riddled with American fowl brood and the small hive beetle just finished them off. So now the other four were on the path to destruction as well. But uh, he got onto a bloke who told him about this tetramycin. So he kind of hopefully used this tetramycin to uh, correct his problems. But I told him about doing this burning scorching caper. Uh, but he doesn't want to do that, he wants to go with the uh, tetramycin, so we'll just see how he goes. But in the meantime, I've got a heap of lychees off him and passion fruits, so <laughs> I, I, I come out of it all right. Anyway, this is our uh, small hive beetle damage video, and uh, we'll close now, and we'll catch you later. Bye.